Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we are in Bury St Edmunds. Um, it's quite a long long distance one this one. We're fitting an EV charger. Now today we're fitting a hypervolt for this customer. Um, I quoted this customer remotely. They sent, I requested all the pictures uh, that I needed and he sent them through. Um, so I had a good idea of what I was going to do. Um, so yeah, we're going to fit a hypervolt because we're having. Um, you're going to fit a hypervolt with a five meter lead. Uh, the customer has a Nissan Leaf, um, so it's perfect location really for this. So I'm just getting set up now, but just show you the location. So this is his driveway that I'm parked in, and we're going to fit the charge point here. And we're going to cable across and down around where the meter box is above the meter box just there on the other side of the wall um, we've got two consumer units now one consumer unit is for the property uh, general electrics and the other consumer unit used to be for storage heaters and things like that but that's all disconnected now that's all gone um, he's got central heating so it's basically a ball that's switched off so what we're going to do is rip that ball out we're going to fit a four-way fuse box with an SPD kit and a Type A 32 amp RCBO supplying the hypervolt. Um, cabling, we've got, you can see it down there, we've got um, some EV Ultra, 6mm EV Ultra cable so we can run um, for the CT sensor as well, Cat5 in there for the CT sensor. Now I'll probably run it up to the board once well, it's got to go to the board anyway because it's in the cable but i'll probably because the meter cupboard is there i'll probably run the cable straight into the board and the house general consumer units next to it so i might if it's dot and dab war i might be able to meet uh, uh put the ct on the towel in the consumer unit next to it rather than going into the cupboard i'm gonna start running the cable out and and start working out my cleats and start fitting the uh, the charge point. what they've done um, what they've what you used to do to level these up because you can't you can level this up once you've got your fixings but I think um, so you get a plate with uh, with the well, obviously it's a metal so they're trying to do a cost saving because you can level this up quite nicely mark your holes which is what I've done here so when they're trying to sort of keep keep it sort of green they give you a cardboard um, but you have to sort of level the cardboard now I personally think it's a bit awkward and a little bit unreliable leveling a cardboard because if it's not got a clean cut then it could put it out but I mean you could put a laser up and then just laser your lines um, I'll put you Put your level on the dotted line on there and then move the cardboard and you know, pierce through um yeah i mean it's obviously making the company green which is great personally i like i like this um 
but obviously there is a cost involved to this to the company and stuff but I think if you're an installer why don't you when you when you get your first purchase you can add the plate maybe add the plate to your first purchase and then just keep it on the van uh, as a template and then when you come up um, it's a similar sort of thing um, that I've done before is if you any are you guys outfit in any dimplex panel heaters you can get a piece of um, plastic wood and you do all your marks for because you with the dimplex panel heaters you you get like a a skeleton grid that you uh frame that you screw to the wall and you can't really level it because it's so thin and flimsy um people that feel them know what i'm talking about uh it's so thin and flimsy because it sort of like comes out and h and stems up and it's all bendy and flimsy so what i used to do is make up a bit of plastic or something a bit of a bit of plastic trim or something and do all the measurements of the holes of that uh, plastic and then you can just put it off the floor and you turn it around and you've got a mark between the holes and you can, you can do all your fixing so then you just keep it on the van so next time you fit you fit one of those heaters you've always got the template so it's the same with this i think when you order your first hypervolt as an installer you maybe there's an option to tick and request a uh, a metal template um fixing template and then just keep it on the van then they haven't got to supply these with every uh, with every unit, every route they take, I'm sure will be for the better. So, but yeah, that's a good idea. I think every installer should just keep one on their van. This is the main consuming unit of the house, and this used to be the storage heater board. So, I'm going to remove this one and fit a new one in there. Okay, I didn't record all this, but um, yeah, the board's done because it's a really awkward space and um, yeah, a bit of a bit of a nightmare doing it, but consume units fitted. I've just tested it. So we've got the main switch, electric vehicle, charge point now, SPD, MCB, and then the SPD itself, no uh, blank. I've just got to put a periodic inspection label on there. That's done. I managed to get the CT wiring up now. And you just poke it in around, around the clamp just inside that board. So we are all ready to power up. Let's power that up. So I've just powered it up. All the LED lights have come on around the side because it's started up, it's doing its own self testing. I'm just going to do a test on the incoming supply first without. The charge point connected and then um, I'm going to connect it up and test on the plug and make sure the lead is all uh, is all okay as well. Let's just do an ZS test uh, on the overflow of impedance 0.16 which is really good it's 0.10 uh, ZE at the board so a 0.06 um, between here and now, so yeah, really good. So, 
customer hasn't quite decided yet we wants the, uh, the holes done so for now he's going to fix it himself that's going to customer's connected his wi-fi to it uh, he's done a firmware update um, and it's all set to go so the cable route has gone all the way around the bottom out the wall through into the consumer unit inside so all in all really good so he's going to going to get him to bring his nissan leaf up on the drive and plug it in just to make sure it's all working correctly it's all tested fine just make sure it's all working correctly and then i can get him to sign some paperwork and i can leave Yeah.